So it's been about three months since I got monetized and started receiving money from YouTube ads and through Google AdSense. I made this video about three months ago going over like how I actually got monetized, how long it took from like zero watch hours to 4,000 watch hours, and then how long it took from being eligible to be monetized to actually starting to make money. So this video is about my entire monetization process and tips for getting monetized. But if you are interested in how I'm doing right now after three months, and how much money I've made and like the detailed analytics, let me know in the comments. So right now in 2022, how the heck do you get monetized? Well, there are two criteria and I'm sure a lot of you already know about this, but basically you need 1000 subscribers and you need 4,000 watch hours, but not just 4,000 watch hours in like the your total time of being a YouTuber. It has to be in the last year. So in the last 365 days, you need to accumulate 4,000 watch hours. So that is the hardest part because let's say somebody binge watches your video last year on this exact same day, you might lose some watch hours. So the thing YouTube wants to see is that people are continuously watching your videos and pretty much the only way you can get your watch hours is if your channel just grows in general and you're building your audience and you're getting more people to watch your videos or you have like more videos and they're watching longer. So. First of all, how long did it take me to get my first 1000 subscribers? I would say it took me, I think it was like around a year. I have to double check, but I think it was around a year. And then for 4,000 watch hours, actually maybe 1000 subscribers was like seven months or something. I really had a hard time with getting the 4,000 watch hours. So it took me a year and a half. So I started my YouTube channel in October, 2020. So yeah, around a year and a half. And like, I've been waiting so long to get monetized because I got my 1000 subscribers pretty early on, I would say. And then it took double the time to get my watch hours. So I think it really depends. Like I've heard a lot of people get their watch hours first, but then they're not at 1000 subscribers or they're like missing the watch hours. So it really depends on how well your videos are doing. And for me, I think one part of me being able to get 1000 subscribers is that I had a following already on Instagram and my niche when I first started my YouTube channel was tips for calligraphy business owners. So because on Instagram, I already had about, you know, 3000 or 4000 followers. I think a lot of people then subscribe to my YouTube channel because of that. So for me, it was like way easier to get 1000 subscribers, but the watch hours took me forever. And I have to thank this video, this how to start a greeting card video, because it's like the video that really, really helped me get watch hours. It's like my best performing video that's getting like around 200 views every 48 hours. Like if I didn't have this video, then it would be really hard for me to get the watch hours. So what is the process to get monetized? Well, first you have to get your 1000 subscribers and 4000 watch hours in the past 365 days. And then you have to, you should already have an AdSense account because you can apply for an AdSense account before you reach your 4000 watch hours or 1000 subscribers. So I actually applied for an AdSense account, I think maybe a couple months ago. And I would say the the process was pretty straightforward, but the only thing I didn't do was like the tax information because <laughs> it seemed like a little bit complicated. So I just left that. So actually like I, my AdSense account was not complete when I was able to apply for monetization. So I had to then go back into my Google AdSense account and then add the tax information. And here's a tip, like when you're adding the tax information, there might be some questions where you don't really know what to answer. And so I actually had to like Google, or I guess I had to search up how to input AdSense information if like, I'm a Canadian resident because they're going to ask you different questions, I think, depending on which country you're in. And I didn't really understand the withholding tax and stuff like that. And then like Canada has a treaty with the US. So I think there's no withholding tax or something like that. It's kind of confusing, but I didn't really understand it. So I had to Google like how to set up an AdSense account tax information. <laughs> so if you are at that stage and you're not sure how to do it, then I'm sure there's a video 
that explains how you can do that. So that took me about, you know, maybe like 20 minutes to fill in the tax information. And I had to like watch a video on how Canadians can do the tax information. And then it took me three days to get approved after that. So it was pretty fast. And I'm not sure if it would have been faster if I did it on the weekday because I finished setting up my AdSense account on a Friday and then I got approved on Monday. So I would say it was like pretty fast. I do have a friend who said that her friend, it took like six months to get approved. And I have read some like Reddit forums where they say like, there's kind of like, it's like all over the place with how long it takes to get approved. So I'm not sure if it like depends on the country or depends on your channel, like the topic of your channel. I'm not really sure what YouTube does to like approve somebody but for me it was pretty fast I don't know how long it would take for you but if it is taking a lot longer than you think it should uh, maybe go like look into like some forums um, those can be helpful but YouTube does say that you should be approved within about a month so I guess if it's taking more than a month then maybe go read some other stuff on how you can get approved. I'm really happy because it took me three days. One other thing I had to do was after I connected my bank account to Google AdSense, I had to wait for a pin to arrive in the mail. This is like a pin to authenticate my Google AdSense account. So I did this after I applied for monetization, but that's because I think I didn't put in all the tax information and stuff, but I, I'm pretty sure you can do this before you get approved for monetization. I'm not sure, I think it's because I didn't put the tax information, but I think you can do this whole pin thing, waiting for the mail thing before that. Um, oh yeah, and then just like an interesting fact. Um, so it's been like three days of me being able to see how much money I've made. So in three days, I made $5.32, which is averaging $1.7 a day. This month, in one month, I'll probably make $50, which I guess is not so bad. It's, it's something, you know? It's like the start of this new income stream. Actually, in the first month, I made $87 which is more than the $50 that I estimated like three months ago. So even though it's like not that much money at first, like I'm really, really thankful. And I think like things will just get easier from here. So I do have some tips for new YouTubers if you are trying to grow your channel. So my first tip is to make videos that people are searching for. If you look through my top performing videos, all the video topics are things that people are actually searching for. It's like answering a question or it's like some kind of information that people want. As a general thing, I would say it's harder to get bigger at the beginning if you're doing, if you have like a vlog channel. I'm not saying that you can't be successful with a vlog channel, but at the very beginning, it's easier if you are answering like questions that people are typing into YouTube and like it's stuff that people are actually searching for. Another thing is like you might post a video and then you might think, okay, this is like a great question that people are searching for, but it might take like six months for YouTube to pick it up and for it to kind of like show up in YouTube search. So this is what happened with the how to find your lost cat video that I made. This is like totally not my niche, but I lost my cat Melvin this one time and then I thought, okay, maybe it would be useful to make a YouTube video. And right now, every 48 hours, it's getting like 30 views, which I think is like actually pretty good. And then another video I made is about how to start using a one line a day journal, like a five year diary. And at first this video performed not it was like not good, but then it just like picked up and I made the video a couple months before the end of the year. So the end of the year is usually when people buy this kind of notebook so they can start it in January. And so you can like clearly see the, the line going up when it was like December, January. And now it's like one of my best performing videos. So when you look at your YouTube analytics, don't get too hung up on the analytics of videos you've just posted because it's gonna take time for the YouTube like algorithm and like YouTube search to kind of like rank your videos. Yeah, with like my newer videos, I don't really take the analytics seriously. I really think you should like wait one year and then look back and see, okay, which videos are performing performing well. I'm not saying that you should never look at your analytics. I'm just saying don't make it a super big deal if a video is not performing well when you just release it and like for the first three months. Okay, my next tip for you is if you do already have a following like somewhere else, like maybe you have an email list or you have 
um, Instagram or TikTok following, use that following and leverage that so you can build your YouTube channel. For me, it was really my Instagram and my email list that really helped. So like every single time I had a new video out, I would like promote it on my Instagram multiple times and I would send an email to my email list so they could like watch the video and like subscribe to my channel. Like I did this every single week. And a bonus tip on top of that tip is when you are talking about your video and asking people to watch your video, like you can add like a PS, like please watch until the end. <laughs> Like I would always do this. Like I would, whenever I post it on Instagram or Facebook, or I don't do it so much on my email list because I feel more close with my Instagram followers and like my friends on Facebook. I would say, please like watch till the end so I can build up my watch hours and I would really appreciate it. And that will help because a lot of people don't know that they need to just watch through the whole video. Like some people think they just if they just click into the video, then that kind of like helps you, but it's actually not that way, right? Like if people click into the video and then exit the video, it's actually really bad for your watch time because they're just, they're like exiting after five seconds. So when you can, and if you feel comfortable, then I would tell people like watch until the end, I would really appreciate it. Okay, and then another bonus bonus on top of that is when you're like really close to getting your 4,000 watch hours, you can like ask your followers to help you by playing playlists on your channel. So in the one week before I got monetized, I would like post on Instagram and ask all my followers to just like put a playlist there and they can just like leave it on. Um, and then that's gonna like slowly, slowly build the hours. And I actually didn't think I would get monetized within that week. I thought it would take me like two more weeks, but it was actually like faster than I thought. And it was really because maybe like six people actually told me that they were putting on a playlist, but maybe there were actually more people who didn't message me that put on the playlist just to help me out. So you can always ask your following to like help out a bit. And my next tip for YouTube is to just keep going. Like I honestly thought I could get monetized in like six to 12 months of doing YouTube. It took a year and a half, but I think I'm really, really happy right now with like where I am. And yeah, it took longer than I expected, but I think that's what happens a lot of the times when you're like starting a business or starting a new project. And it is difficult. Like I felt really discouraged a lot of the times with my YouTube feeling like it's not growing or my content is not good enough or the video editing or the video quality and audio quality is not good enough, but if you keep getting better, and one of my favorite YouTubers, um, Sean Cannell from Think Media, he always says, if you just get 1% better, then you will be successful. So that's also something I wanna share with you. Just get 1% better with each upload. If you are interested in the other videos I've made about my YouTube journey, then make sure you check out these videos right here. And leave a comment if you found this helpful.